Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Um, I wanted to talk to you today about my Disney cruise. We was lit. We had fun. We was lit. We had fun. Okay, it was a much, much, much needed vacation. Um, I had a rough 2019. I lost my mom in March. And I lost um, both my grandparents in the month of October. I lost my grandmother three days after my birthday. Her funeral was the following Saturday. And my grandfather passed right after her funeral. So... 2019 was very, very hard on me, and I was looking forward to not only the vacation, but the Disney cruise, because it was something near and dear to my heart. Um, last year, in January, for my daughter's first birthday, I took um, my mom and my kids on a cruise, and we all had an amazing time, so to be in remembrance of my mom i decided to do a disney cruise because she loved disney and um for my daughter's second birthday and we had a really good time um so okay let's start from the beginning so we left home on the 9th got to florida orlando florida that's where we um the boat departed from um so we our flight landed at like nine in the morning so we um got breakfast, got to the hotel that day. I wanted to do something really fun, like um I'm sorry, y'all got my land. Okay. Um I wanted to um do something fun. Like I wanted to go to a theme park but then I didn't want to spend a whole bunch of money when the whole point of the vacation was the cruise so what we ended up doing was put put golf and I'm going to insert a video of my son throwing a temper tantrum as a golfing thing but we did um put put golf oh my god I like a naked mole rat when I don't have on lashes which I rarely put on lashes but I notice when I don't have them all like a naked mole rat throwing that out there um, but anywho, we did Papa Golf. Um, his dad and him did um go karts, so they had a good time doing that. Then I feel like we did something else that day. Yeah, we went to the mall. Y'all, I went to Michael's. Oh, let me show y'all. So, I went to Michael's and got stuff that I did not need. But I'm like, oh, you got your little spending money. So, just got some for you. So, I got these books. These sticker books. Y'all. Did I? I did not need. They cute, though. They real cute. But, I ain't need these. Did not need them at all. It's a bad addiction. I spent $57 in there. $57, but my whole logic was, I'm trying to do a no spin 2020. It's not a no spin. It's a low spin 2020. So I'm still going to buy things that um, I enjoy, but not things that I do not need. I don't need a lick of more clothes. I don't need a lick of more shoes. They're not things that I need. I have plenty of plethora of shoes and clothes. Like, any hold up aside today, I'm going to do a Disney. Okay, get back to Disney. Went to the mall. I, I went to Michael's. I got me some cold stone ice cream. So good. Um, oh, I hate when I brush up. Um, what else? Okay, went back to the hotel. Early in the morning, we went to drop off our rental. And um, the little van took us over to the Disney boat. We had to wait a while. Though. We had to wait almost an hour for the van to take us from the rental place to the port because they were bringing so many people back from the cruises so from the port if nobody has ever cruised before it's not just your disney cruise it's disney carnival um whatever other other people other boats are at the port as well so just throwing it out there um, oh, okay, but when you walk in, you have to have everybody's birth certificate or, um, passport. 
Um, so we pulled all that out. They asked for your room number and for your little reservation sheet, which I threw mine away because I don't need it no more. Um, and then you go on. And then you walk into a building. You go through security. They are checking your carry-on bag. Because somebody is there when you get off the van to take your um, your big luggage. I'm just, this is, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get all the information. So, when you get there, they tell you to keep on you your birth certificate. Basically, all your personal information because they're going to check the birth certificates again. They have to make sure that who you say you are is who's getting on this cruise ship. Um, so you keep that with you. And then, so our time to board was 11.30. So you're, what you're doing though, is you're just boarding, I don't even remember, the, it's an area before you board onto the boat. I think we didn't go onto the boat until like 12 or 12.30 and our boat, excuse me, in our room wouldn't be available until 1 30. so you on there from 12 to 1 30 you're on the ship you can walk around and do whatever but you can't change your clothes unless you bring them so like i knew i wasn't going to go swimming but i knew my son and his dad probably would so i made sure i packed a book bag with their trunks and you know change clothes whatever um okay so we get on we have to wait in the line to check ourselves in and that's when they gave my son his little wristband <clears throat> um so that allowed him to check in and out of the kids area and then um what else and then they checked our ids so after we did that um some of the Disney characters were there. I'm sorry, I kind of went down the wrong way. I'm sorry. Um, they, uh, I hate when I, uh, 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 like, I hate it and I'm doing it. But anyway, it was a replica of the ship in the middle of the floor. So we walked around the replica to see where everything was. And then, uh, what's his name? Goofy was there taking pictures. Mickey was there taking pictures. We went outside, and outside, you could see the boat. So we took pictures out there of the boat. And then, um, what else did we do? I'm just, I'm going to post this video anyway, because it's going to be a while before I'm looking fleeky again. But, um... I'm looking crazy. These eyebrows look crazy. I like the Grinch. Do, 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 do. I got strands of hair just hanging. I'm just looking cray cray. But I wanted to put up a video because I feel like I ain't seen y'all in a minute. Um, I'm going to do some more videos today too. Knock them on. Out. Um, okay, we got on the boat. Oh, we they let you board in sections. And I honestly don't know where what number it went up to we were 11 so uh we got the book i mean we got the board pretty early so you um walk on through oh and at the beginning when they check your id stuff they give uh, everybody no matter how old you are gets a room key um because it allows you to make purchases on the boat you don't pay cash for anything you don't really even need to take cash unless your cruise is going to a destination where you um want to buy something off the ship but on the ship you pay for everything with your key card which is like your credit card really your credit card is attached to that card and at the end the whatever your bill is they charge it to the card that you got on file um but they give everybody a room key because they you when you get off the boat everybody has to scan that key and also when they do your safety check they scan everybody's key i'm lying about that they make sure everybody in your state room which that's what your room is called your state room they make sure everybody is present for the safety thing but they only scan one person's card because 
it pulls up everybody that's in that room. Okay. So, then what we do? Oh, okay. So, now we getting on. So, they ask you what your last name is. And we were like, Givens. And they was like, woo, welcome Givens family. Woo. Then you run through the little line and everybody cheering. It was cute. I'm going to put the video up there. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I don't know if I'm going to insert clips as I say these things. Or if I'm just going to put my little Snapchat story at the end. I'm really lazy. I'm probably just going to put that snap, 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 put that snap story at the end of the video. Because why not? Um, anywho. Okay. So then we get on the boat. We walk around. Um, the Disney Dream has what they call aqueduct. And what it is, is tubes that run across the whole ship goes in a circle across the whole ship and they light up at night it's really cute and um you sit in little um uh, i don't know y'all know the little circle things you sit in at water parks or whatever when you go on water rides what are they called i don't know them you sit on them and it take you around that video will be in here too um i didn't ride that because my hair is natural and I do not play about getting my hair wet. People don't understand. This is like a bird's nest when it get wet. It, it's flat iron now and in a little bun. But wet? Let me tell, let me just, can I, oh, I got to think on it. If this is wet, it, it's too much hair, okay? It's too, I'm not fooling. I'm not fooling around with this bushy. I, I can't. It's not fun for me or you, and I would just have an attitude. So, water is not my friend. All three of my cruises, um, I had my hair in a wrap. I had it, you know, flat ironed. Because I'm not fooling around. I don't. I've been natural the last three years, and I can't wear it curly because that's too much time, too many products. Now I'm going to look crazy throughout the video, but it's fine. Um, Yeah, it's too much work. I, I ain't got it, but kudos to y'all natural. I mean, y'all do that. I can't. Not my cup of tea. Anywho, um, what else did we do? Okay, that was that day. Oh, they had a little takeout party. My son refused. So my son is nine, and he refused to dance. Now, at home, he's a dance machine, but I did not know that because he'd been around adults for so long, my daughter just turned two during the cruise, so big gap between kids. He's just been around older folks. He was not into Disney at all. He was not, I don't want to dance. What? Like, he wasn't into it. The area that they had roped off, only kids could be in, so I'm like... Kobe a dance, go out there with her and dance. He refused. He just stood there. I was so angry. But um, anywho, she went out there, did a little tutu. That was it. Um, and then they sh shot little uh, it wasn't confetti. It was a silly string. Well, not silly string, but you know, just the string streamers. <laughs> shot streamers out. Cool. As soon as this boat took off, y'all. I got sick. As soon, I got motion sickness. So the cruise was a three-night cruise. I was sick the first two nights. And then the last night, that day, I finally was like, let me go down there and ask them do they got medicine for it. They did. The medicine was like, um, you know, take it an hour before you want it to work. So the last day, we did Castaway K, which is Disney's private island. Um... So I took it an hour before. I was cool. No stomach pain. My head wasn't hurting. I was Gucci. But the last two nights, all I did was sleep once I started feeling sick. So then when I woke up, I was hungry. Love that they room service is complimentary. It was free. So I was messing up. I was about to say the F word. I was messing up. They hot wings. Hot wings, fries, ginger ale. Hot wings, fries, ginger ale. Third day, hot wings, fries, ginger ale. Baby, my stomach said no ma'am. Okay, you play too much. Too many days of hot wings. So, by that third day, I was still feeling good, but my stomach set me down. Okay, 
I felt so bad because we was our whole intention. I I put Jacoby in a little daycare from seven to eleven that day, so that me and her dad could you know do adult things on a cruise. Baby, I couldn't do nothing. <laughs> I couldn't do nothing. I felt bad. But okay, when we got in there, when we finally got. When we were finally able to go into our room, Jamel, that's my husband, and my son was still out on the top deck living their best life in the little water thing. Me and Jacoby went to the room and they had it all decorated for her birthday. It was so cute. This was their happy birthday, my day. So cute. Um... Oh, that just fell. And then they had, they gave her this box. I ain't gonna undo it, but it's like a little tote. And this the lid. Yeah, that's the right way. It was cute. They did that. And it folded up so nice and went right back on into my suitcase. I appreciate that. And every night they gave you candy. And the candy says, uh, where's it at? Disney Cruise. Yeah. Cute. Um, and then the second night, uh -oh. the second night was pirate night. So they gave everybody this um bandana, Pirates of the Caribbean, and they gave the kids chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate. They gave the kids chocolate every day. Um, and my daughter, oh my, she loved chocolate. And I feel like she get that from me because I'm obsessed with brownies. I gotta, it's, it's bad. I love fresh chocolate chip cookies. I love fresh brownies. What else do I like? Oh, and ice cream. Like, ooh, I got a bag. I, sweets. All right, anyway, what else do we do? Okay, so then I'm, I, I'm everywhere, but I'm not redoing this video. It is what it is. Um, what happened the next day? The next day, our destination was NASA. NASA? NASA? I don't know. I might be saying it wrong. N-A-S-S-U-A, -S -S something like that. Um, we went there. I left Jacoby behind. Okay? I feel bad because that was her birthday. And I left her. I left her in the kids' daycare. I figured she would have more fun partying with kids her age. And coincidentally, when I dropped her off, another little boy was in there. Um, I'm usually good at like remembering names, but I honestly forgot his name. Um, and it was his birthday too. And he was turning to. Like, what? How cute. I thought that was so cute. So um, I'm sure they was in there living their best life. Um, so I've been asked my husband a long, long time ago, like, look on there and see what um excursion you want to do. He said he wanted to do the jet ski. So that's another reason why I left my daughter behind. Because we have been to the Bahamas before. So she had been on this island before. But um the next day was going to be Castaway K, which was Disney's private island she had never been. So I didn't want to do... Matter of fact, yeah, they did have... um jet skis over there too but i didn't want to not take her that day because she had never been um so he was like oh it's super expensive i don't want to okay so we get off the boat we don't do any disney excursions we go to the little islanders and we catch a taxi um it's weird too because some of their cars are foreign vehicles, so the driving, so the steering wheel is on the right hand side, and but then they have American cars there too, where it's on the other side, so it's kind of awkward. But they drive over there, how you drive, how they drive in Jamaica, reckless, okay, They're reckless. They just, woo, they live in their best life. You have to pray when you get in these vehicles because, baby, they drive everywhere, every which way. It's like. I can do it. I could not. And in Jamaica, this is totally different. I did Jamaica 
two years ago. Um, they had signs like a motorcyclist gone, like it was like an X over his face. And then the sign was like, you know, watch the road. Oh, it's just they drive crazy out there. Um, that's how I can tell you. They drive crazy. Um, anywho, we get in a taxi and I'm like, okay, let's go to Atlantis. Atlantis has a casino because I wanted to gamble. Um, that's what I loved about the Carnival Cruise. The casino, the nightclub. It's just, ooh, jumping, jumping. And the kids, they got, you know, the little kids room so they can still... You can do adult stuff and the kids can do kid stuff. But on a Disney cruise, it wasn't like that. They had night lounges. Like, I'm grown, but I want to be turned up grown. Like, I'm 31. These is like for 50 and up. And I ain't that old, okay? I want to work a little something, do something, you know? That ain't how it is on Disney. They more upscale. Like, um... They ain't with directions. Also, we had so much fun on the Carnival Cruise. Our um, deparkation. Am I saying it right? When we left the port and was, you know, going into the water, it was lit, man. They had good music. We lined in. We was just real, real, real lit. And I thought Disney was going to do that. And it was so cheesy it was just it was for the kids it was all for the kids like carnival they had you know the little young kids songs and then they took it back with some adult songs i'm gonna see if i can find a little clip and insert that in here um i don't know i, I was expecting that on disney i don't know shame on me i don't know why this this video is 22 minutes okay i'm Y'all probably gonna be like, I'm not watching this shit all the way through. Oh, I didn't. I'm trying not to cuss. All right. What else did we do? I shouldn't have started drinking. I should have waited. Um. What was the second day? Okay. We went to Atlantis. I put $20 in that slot. They took my little pull of money, okay? But, um. We decided to do, Atlantis got plenty of stuff to do, but we decided to do the beach day and the um, aquarium, which were both cute. We did that. Um, what happened? We had fun. We was just on the beach walking around. Uh, we saw some stingrays, not in the water where we were, but they had them like in a little, I don't want to call it a fountain area. I don't know, in a separate area where you couldn't get into it. They had sharks and um, little small little sharks. Like at, I'm not, yeah, I'm not from here though, but it's like the little baby sharks that's at um, Newport Aquarium. It's like them. And um, what else? That was it, stingrays and sharks. Okay, then we left, came back on the boat that night was the pirate night and they shot fireworks off the deck i ain't got no footage of that because i was in the bed sleep <laughs> because i was seasick so i know next time to just go ahead and ask for the medicine i don't know why i thought it was, it was gonna get better now let me say this this is my second time doing a cruise in january the the first cruise I did was a four-day cruise. And on the third night, I got sick. And literally, me and my son was at the seafood shack because we love us uh, some seafood. And we we messed it up. It was so good. Um, crab legs. Oh, my God. Torn up. Um, okay. so But as we waiting in line, the boat is like, oh, oh. And I'm like, oh. Start feeling sick. I had to lay down. Now, what motion sickness does to me it don't just bother my stomach i literally get a headache and it ain't like no throbbing headache it's like i can't even explain it you 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 literally feel sick i never get nauseated or throw up but it's a different it's a weird feeling like going up an elevator too fast that type of feeling in your head anyway that was it, though. That was the only night that I had got sick. The next day, I was perfectly fine. I did a cruise in July of 2019. 
never got motion sickness. What I know now is that in January, the water is choppy. The wind is blowing. So it sways the boat. I can't mess with the sway of the boat. It messes with my stomach and my head. So I won't do a cruise at that time again. Or I know to get medicine for it. Also, this time we stayed in the very front of the boat. Like literally from, we had a window in our room. And from the window, I could see the captain's window. So that's how close we were to the front of the boat. I don't know if that plays a part. But I'm just throwing it out there. Okay. Um, oh, okay. But we went, on the second night, we went to um, the theater on the boat. So they had two theaters. One was just like a regular Amex movie theater. The other one was um, a like theater to see a Broadway show. It was like that type of theater. Um, it was amazing. They did uh, Beauty and the Beast. And it was bomb. It was amazing. Till I had to leave. Because my daughter was in there throwing a fit. Ooh, embarrassing me. I was upset. So my husband and my son stayed to watch the whole thing. And what I didn't know is they play it. You can watch it from your room on the TV. N didn't know. So I don't know how I ended. I don't know. It was good enough from what I saw. What I got to see. First like 15 minutes. I got up into the part where um, Gustav, is that his name? Y'all know what I'm talking about. He um, stole Bella daddy or, you know, did whatever to the daddy. That's as far as I got. And me and Kobe had to politely peace out so we interrupted for everybody else. But um, the the show was bomb. The actors and actresses did an amazing job. It was just, it was magical. They also had um, on the ship, it's just pictures. But when you stand in front of the picture for so long, it starts talking to you. Yeah, it was live. The picture started moving. It looks like a regular schmegular picture. And then it started moving and talking to you. So one of the games they had on there was a um, detective. And they had three different games. We chose to find the person who was stealing the paintings. That's the game we chose to play. Literally, it was 13 floors on the boat. We walked every floor because... And that was the point of the game is to get you to learn the boat. And also have fun. But to learn where everything is on the boat. So they had... Um, what was I saying? The picture. Oh, we literally, like, the so one picture would be on the far end of the first floor, and then you go all the way to the other end. So you walk in the whole entire ship. Great exercise, by the way. But my son had a good time doing that. Um, it was interactive. So you hold your card up to the picture, and when you move your hand, it interacted with the photo and, like, did the stuff. I'll insert clips. Um, I, I probably need to wrap this on up because I'm going to put all the Snapchat stuff at the end. Y'all can fast forward if that's what y'all want to see. Um, what else happened? We did that. The third night, I, I felt better. So I end up doing, this is before the hot wings. <laughs> this is before the hot wings. Um, Kobe was in the kids room. So I decided to do um, another show. And this show, I, I honestly don't even remember the name, but they had all the Disney characters in. They wouldn't let you record this or take pictures, but it was bomb. It was, just, it was so cute. It was just magical. Like, I don't know how to explain it. The next trip I want to do is actually Disney World. Um, Disney cruises are... They are expensive. I had my total, I was going to tell y'all. So, and they do charge gratuity for everything. Oh, I ain't talked to y'all about the dining hall. You rotate. They got three different dining halls. And each night, you rotate where you eat at. So, every dining hall is set up as a different theme. Like, one is the Princess and the Frog. Dang, and I forget what the other two were because 
I didn't make it. Only my kids did because <laughs> I was sick. So, um, anyway, I didn't talk to y'all about the... Wait, before I get to the dining hall, when you get on the boat, they got a buffet of food. When I say this food was top notch, baby, they had lamb, crab fingers, not crab fingers, crab legs. Have y'all ever ate crab fingers? Do y'all got a papa those where y'all at? Because I be messing up papa those crab fingers sauteed. Woo, baby. Okay. If y'all know, I love food. Um, What was I saying? They had lamb, crab legs asparagus, mashed potatoes, steak fries, french fries, pizza. They pizza was jumping. Chicken. They, they had every whatever your brain can think of. And they had all the fruit decorated in Cardell. I don't know. I was so hungry. I did not get a picture of that. But it was just oh, fabulous. Like I felt like royalty. And when you're done eating, you just leave your plate there. What? I ain't got to go find no garbage can and wait for my kids and take one kid, leave one kid to go throw the stuff. Away. No. You just get up and go. Okay? And they and the waiters come by and ask you. Well, they ain't really waiters. They just there to, you know, pick the stuff up. They're not there to serve you and go make your plate or nothing. But they will. They ask you, do you need anything? Do you do And they interact with your kids. Everybody on that shit, staff-wise, Made you feel like family. Made you feel like you were part of the crew. And it was just a lovely feeling. Like I could see the difference from the Carnival Cruise and the Disney Cruise. It's like you know it, it's embedded in them. You see somebody, you speak. You ask who they need anything. They take care of you, baby. Like you royalty. So let me tell you the total cost. The total cost... For my cruise was three thousand seven hundred seventy-five dollars and sixty cents. That was for a family of four. I'm lying. That ain't my total. Cause I did not include flights. Flights is not included in that price. So basically, it was around four thousand and some. Excuse me. And some change. And I'm mad because I had to pay for my daughter coming and going. Even though when she was going, she was one. So she should she could sit on my lap. She did not require us to eat, but because I was doing it under one reservation, they made me pay for her coming and going. Anyway, but she did sit in her seat by herself, which I thought she wouldn't do, but she did. Going and coming, she sat in her seat by herself like a big girl and just kept plugging in, unplugging her headphones. That's how she did. She went to sleep eventually, but anyway. I'm sorry that I'm rambling and this video is about to be long. Um, what else? What do I say? We did not buy nothing extra. I'm not drinking in the year 2020 as I'm drinking wild. So let me clarify. I'm not drinking hard liquor. So there would be no shots of Patron for me. Shots of Patron, lime juice, chill. That's what I like. Roses, lime juice. Not no freshly squeezed lime juice. That shit is just... I'm sorry. That stuff is disgusting. Um, Yeah. I decided that I want to take that out of my diet. I want to take that out of my spending. Um, It's just something I don't want to do. So, I did not purchase any alcoholic beverages. Be beverages. Beverages. Um, on this cruise. But my husband did. So... And then the, I'm trying to look, I got the little receipt thing somewhere. Is that one expensive? I don't know where it's at. But, um, it, the drinks weren't that expensive. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. Um, okay, so one of the drinks he got was $6.04. Another drink he got was $7.76. So not too expensive at all. But they put gratuity when you make any purchases. Purchases. They put gratuity on it. Um, yeah, that's crazy. They put gratuity on it. Um, the most expensive thing that we bought. Oh, baby. that's I didn't even pay that no attention. The most expensive thing that we bought was our pictures. 
Dang, and I ain't even bring them up here. Um, I might pause it. No, I'm not. We bought professional pictures that they took, but I'm not about to go downstairs and get them to show y'all. I'm sorry. Um, I just don't feel like it. Um, that was ninety two dollars and seventy five cents, and it was for one eight by ten and two five by sevens. I think I could be lying, but yeah, they were expensive. And the gratuity on the purchases, so I bought like little knickknacks. Um, oh here go one. I bought this keychain. So cute! It got mini on there, and then the boat, the Disney boat cute and what is this i can't think of the name of that but that oh look he changed that was ten dollars in total though for gratuity for our purchases that it was 250 dollars and 19 cent just for stupid stuff i didn't even pay no attention um they put gratuity for my daughter going into their kids camp which it already cost for her to go in there I think it was a nine dollars and fifty cent an hour, which is cool. I got applicators. Mm. Um, yeah, they put fifty dollars of gratuity on that, which is cool. They deserve it. Them kids be whining and crying, you know. Anywho, what? No, just oh, I'm tripping. Um, okay, the third night. My stomach got messed up. I did make it to one of the little game shows, which was cool. I enjoyed doing stuff like that. That was cool. It, I forget what it was called, but basically they play like Fresh Prince of Bel Air intro to his song, and you had to you went up head to head against somebody, and you hit the buzzer, and you had to say you had to name that show. People was butchering shows. So anyway, that was cool. They also oh y'all. One thing I do love about Disney, the adult area is in one area of the ship, but they split everything off into rooms. So it's it's just a stairwell, not a stairwell, a hallway, big circle area, and then separate rooms, separate rooms, separate rooms. You can't even see it. You walk down into them, but everything was in one area. So... Say, for instance, one room had the game show. The other room had karaoke. It ain't like you had to go from one end of the ship to the next end of the ship to try to make it. It was all right there. And everything started in increments. Then I run back the little schedule thing. But I don't know where I put it. Oh, here we go. Everything was done in increments of each other. So it looked like a little TV guy. And it tell you where everything is and when it starts. So... You didn't have to miss nothing, which I like that. And then in one little area in the middle, they had food, baby. They had strawberry um, Rice Krispie treats. They had, um, they had, what is it? Spring rolls. Oh my God, they just had so much food for free. Like on Carnival, certain shops are free. Like the, the seafood place, you had to pay for that. That's called the seafood shack. You had to pay for that. But guys, burger, um, that was free. And they beat them burgers be jumping. And they also had a little regular food line where you can, you know, get your food. But if you order room service, that costs extra. Which it wasn't too bad. It was like $5 for some wings and fries. But um, Disney, they food. I go back for the food. I paid that price for that food. Because that food is 100 it's good. It's fresh. It's crisp. It's just life. Okay? Every, it's not, nothing I picked up and put on my plate I didn't eat. I told that up. I told that up. My son did too. Everybody ate good. Um. Oh, I got Kobe and Mir cupcakes to celebrate her birthday. I bought a birthday package where they decorated the room, hung little stuff up. For her birthday, that was super cute. Um, yeah, I'm gonna wrap this video on up because I'm just rambling at this point. If y'all got specific questions about the cruise, put them in the comments. I'm happy to answer them. Um, it was well worth the money. I enjoyed myself, I had a good time. That total that I mentioned, it just didn't have our flights in there, but 
the car rental was included. And it, the, of course, the price is going to be different for everybody. The Disney Cruise itself, well, I think it was $2,448 and some change. And that was for all four of us. And I got a deluxe ocean room view. So it's a super big window in the room. And um, we had a queen size bed. And it also had a couch that pulled out into a little bed. And it had another bed in there, but we didn't pull it down because Kobe slept, slept in the bed with us. Um, it was cool. The room was spacious. They had like two rooms. Because uh, I don't got no video of this. So they got like two rooms. One is a bathroom only with the shower. And it's got a little circle tub for little kids. It's so cute. It's just a mirror shower little tub. That's in one room. The other room is just the toilet and another sink. And in order to turn the lights on in the room, you have to stick a card in. I use like, um, sometimes I use Jacoby's stateroom card because she wasn't going nowhere. But another time I use my ID just to hold it in there because if, if nothing's in there, it don't keep the light on. Which I do like that. But when you take the light out, it stay on for like a minute and then it shut off. But that's the whole power to everything. So when you take that key out, the TV cut off, everything cut off, which is smart. Yeah, I ain't about to run that fill up. Ha! They said no. Put a card in or don't. Yeah. Okay. None of that makes sense. I'm sorry. I didn't even drink none. Um, what else happened? We got off. Everything was smooth. You have five, this little man. I swear to have five was a counter and it was seeing how many people got off the boat. I, I know it was. But um, we had plenty of time. Our flight, we off the boat at like eight in the morning, nine in the morning. And our flight didn't leave until six something that evening. So we was just in Orlando roaming around. We went to, we went to get breakfast after we picked up our car rental. We went to get breakfast. We, um... Went to Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum, which we had a good time there. And then, I cannot believe this video. This, I don't even want... Okay. And then, what else did we do? Went to Ripley's Believe It or Not. Then we went to Benihana's, okay? If you know me, Benihana's is my favorite restaurant in the whole wide world. I love, 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 love me some Benihana's. And anywhere I go, I look it up. I got a Benihana. Because that's where I want to eat. Benihana. Okay, we ate at Benihana. It was amazing. So good. And then, what did we do after that? Then we went to go get cold stone ice cream. I, I ate it every day of the trip. It was it was amazing. I ate ice cream literally every day. That whole vacation. Sad. Um. Oh, also on the ship, they have unlimited, like, soft serve ice cream. But I went to Penelope's. It's a little girl off of, um... Damn, what's that girl name? It's the movie where he in the game and then she raced the car. It's her name. It's her shop. We went there and I got ice cream every day. Um, and I got a little Rice Krispie treat out of there too. It was good. Um, all right. So then we went to get ice cream. So next to ice cream was an escape room. If y'all know me, okay, I get out of the escape rooms. Um, I've only not, I've probably done 12 escape rooms and only did not get out of two. And I, I'm going back to get out of them, period. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm on a winning streak. The last seven or eight escape rooms I've done, I've got out. Of all of them because I'm a genius I'm really not but um I like to believe I am me and my friend we do a lot of them just the two of us and we get up out the rooms okay so we saw our escape room I'm all like yeah but we got Kobe with us so I'm like damn is they gonna let a two-year-old run around in here they did they let us run around in there we got out at <laughs> The escape room was called uh, Gold Mine, Gold Rush. We got out. At least smart. And my son, he was picking up on hints, catching them. He just, my baby a genius, okay? Um, we did that. 
What else did we do? Then we left. Then we went to the airport. It was time to catch a flight. Then my daughter threw a whole temper tantrum. She was a whiny bot this whole cruise. And it's something about kids and their birthdays. They become, they know, and they just getting their feelings. I don't know. My son did the same thing when he turned one. She whined the whole entire time. Maybe she had motion sickness too and we just didn't know. Hmm. Mm, maybe. Okay. Um, she threw a temper tantrum at this airport, embarrassed me. My husband had just went to get my son some uh, Auntie Anne's, and he liked that the cinnamon. I hate it because the sugar stuff be everywhere. But anyway, he went to go get him that because that's what he wanted. Jacoby wanted to hold the cup. She whined. I'm like, Jamie, just give her the fucking cup. Just give her the cup. He give her the cup. She dump it out. He just got the cup. He only took one out. She dumped the whole thing out. And then I had to pick everything up, throw it away, and she cried about that. Cried. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm telling you. I wanted to... <laughs> her. But she embarrassed us. But it's cool. We got on our flight. We made it home. We gooch gooch. We had a good time. I enjoyed myself. I definitely want to plan... I want to do an adult cruise. I'm thinking I want to do an adult cruise for my birthday this year. My birthday is in October. Leave for season, baby. Ah, ah, ah. I think I want to go to Mexico on a four-day cruise. Carnival. Leaving from L.A. Because I'm trying to get lit before I get on that ship. <laughs> that was cheesy, but I don't care. I don't care. That's the goals, okay? So, I might start planning for that. I don't know. Um... And I also definitely for my daughter next birthday, I think I want to do Disney World. And then my son, he's sick of us doing things for Jacoby's birthday. And now for his, we've never done nothing lavish, lavish for his birthday because back then we was broke, broke, broke. Now, you know, I'm kind of all right, you know, so his birthday is in November. I don't want to take him out of school, have him miss school. In November, his birthday, November 1st. I don't know. All right, y'all. I'm going to wrap this video on up, and I'm going to insert the snap and the photos at the end. I'm so sorry for my rambling. You know, if you make it through, you a real one, okay? I'm out of here, y'all. Look, me still going. You all cheated. Oh, my God. Boy, go. Get the power up. Get the power up. You missed it. Hi. Hi. Disney yeah. dream. And boy, is she a dream. Can't even get the whole boat. So be. We walk aboard the giving set. You fancy? Alright, come on, Cobes. Turn the light up. Oh, Kobe! They decorated for you. Come on, girl. Ooh, happy birthday! It's your day. It's your day. Happy, happy birthday! Ooh, Kobe! Our room is cute, girl. It's cute. Ooh, ooh, and we got a girl. Two times for the birthday, girl. Look at my supermodel. Ooh, ooh. Supermodel. Yes. Catch them waves, sis. Catch them waves, sis. Why would anybody even be down there touching? They take it off so they can't.
Baby shark do 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 baby shark do 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 sting ray do 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 do